So out of all the superstars that were available, this is who we got to keep LeBron in Cleveland? Yeah, this could be a bit tough. So you know why we're here, LeBron James career re-simulation. Nothing else needs to be said about this man, let's just get into it. So at the end of the season, Shaq's taking home MVP, LeBron James Rookie of the Year, 24, 6, and 8.5 a game with 1.5 steals and 2.4 blocks. Grant Hill, 6th man of the year, Ben Wallace defensive, and for some reason, there is no most improved player. I don't know why that is, but we'll run with it. And along with winning Rookie of the Year, we're going to see LeBron make the All-NBA first team, and what defensive teams he making. He made the first, but LeBron's success doesn't lead to team success, as the Cavs suck. 28-54, and 54, we're down bad. So LeBron, he's up to a 91, he's looking amazing in year two. Same can't be said about this team, however. Complete and utter garbage. We'll be lucky if we win 15 games. At the end of the season, we're going to see Tony Parker taking home MVP. Never thought I would say those words. Rookie of the year, we got Matt Dennis. Big Matt Dennis, averaging 15 and 5. Antoine Jameson, 6th man. Ben Wallace, defensive. Most improved is Boris Dia And Greg Popovich, he's taking home coach of the year. So in year number 2, we're going to see LeBron drop to the All-NBA 3rd team. And we're also going to see his numbers drop. Doesn't really make too much sense, since he should be improving. We'll roll with it though. So the Mavericks, they're taking home the NBA championship and Dirk Nowitzki, he's taking home finals MVP putting up 20 and 15.5 a game. So before we go any further, I just need to show this. Offseason free agent signing. On. When enabled, the CPU will automatically sign free agents in the offseason. Are you sure about that? Because once again, we literally did not sign anyone. We got all these scrubs back for $2,000,000,960,000, but that's it. We did not sign one good player. So at the end of the season, we're going to see Timmy D taking home MVP, Chris Paul, Rookie of the Year, we'll skip that one, Ben Wallace, Defensive Player, we're also going to skip that one, and Greg Popovich, Coach of the Year. So LeBron, he's bouncing back, all NBA second team with almost identical numbers once again. And defensive teams, he's not making the first, but he's going to make the second. And the Cavs, guess what they did? They sucked once again. Why did they suck? Because they don't sign anyone in free agency, and this franchise is an absolute disaster. So in year number four, the team finally did something. We're going to sign Amari Stoudemire, four-year deal, but who knows? LeBron might leave after this season, because since this is a downloaded roster, LeBron can leave. He's not an RFA. I would highly suggest you leave. So at the end of the season, Tony Parker's going to take home MVP, Brandon Roy, Rookie of the Year, Hito Turklu, Six Man, Timmy D, he's taking home Defensive Player, Pete Riley, Most Improved, and Greg Popovich, he's taking home Coach of the Year. So LeBron, once again, he's going to be making the All-NBA third team, but the numbers aren't amazing. Yeah, he had 23 points a game, almost 6 rebounds and 7.3 assists, but I was thinking by now, he would be averaging 30 a game. But now that he has Amari Stoudemire at his side, he's got a bit of help. But even with Amari Stoudemire, that means absolutely nothing, as the Cavs once again can't even make the playoffs. The Pistons, they go on to win the championship, but LeBron, please leave this team. I want you to have some type of success. So in free agency, LeBron decided to leave the Cavs, which was a horrible situation, and join another horrible situation in the Toronto Raptors. Now this team doesn't look that great. Yeah, you got a 98 overall LeBron James, and then our second best player is big ol' Wilson Rhodes. Yeah, we're in trouble, aren't we? But don't worry, we got one great player, he's just further down. We got Kendrick Perkins, so we're definitely going to compete for a championship. So Tim Duncan Roos is going to be taking home MVP once again, Kevin Durant, Rookie of the Year, TJ Ford, six man, Timmy D, he's taking home Defensive Player, Samuel Stone, Most Improved, and Owen Jones, he's taking home Coach of the Year. So LeBron in his first season with the Raptors, he's going to make the All-NBA second team with fairly similar numbers. I am very surprised he hasn't hit 30 points a game yet, and I'm very surprised for his career he's averaging around 23. But the Raptors... Yeah, not much. Oh my god, the Cavs finished as the fifth seed. Who is on this Cavs team? 
Okay, we got James Posey averaging a big 14 points a game leading the team. Okay, you got Rondo. Whoever this is, Deshaun Stevenson. Yeah. Oh, big Tyron Lou. He's the guy carrying the team. Yeah, we're down bad, aren't we? We're down tremendous. So the Mavericks, they're going to take home the NBA championship. And Dirk Nowitzki, he's taking home finals MVP. So at 24 years old, LeBron's up to a 99 overall. And this team didn't do a horrible job at adding some depth. We picked up Nicholas Nelson. No clue who he is, but he's an 85 overall. And we also got Steve Francis, another 85 overall. So we got four players, 80 overall and higher on the team. So we might finally be able to make the playoffs. I didn't think I would be saying that six years in. So LeBron, he's finally getting the respect he deserves and he's taken home MVP, 25 points a game, seven rebounds, 8.5 assists, two steals and two blocks a game. He was dominating this season on both ends of the court. Russell Westbrook, he's taken home rookie of the year, TJ Ford, six man, Timmy D, defensive player, Clayton Paul most improved and Owen Jones, he's taken home coach of the year once again. So of course, we're going to see LeBron make the All-NBA first team, but he's only making the All-Defensive second, even though he was averaging two steals and two blocks a game. And LeBron finally makes the playoffs. He led his team to the first seed, 53-29. and I never thought I'd see this day. I honestly didn't think it would happen. I didn't think LeBron would ever make the playoffs, but we're here and we're taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. And this team's comprised of Chris Paul, Deshaun Stevenson, Darius Miles. I'm not going to say that one. I was about to say it, but you guys see it on screen. And Shaq. But he's got to take on LeBron. Oh, yeah, never mind. We're losing this. It's going to be a four-game sweep from Milwaukee. We got Kendrick Perkins guarding Shaq. So with time winding down in game six, we lost to the eight-seeded Bucks. Not surprised by this whatsoever. Not one bit. Why? Because we had Kendrick Perkins guarding Shaq. Yeah, it's a very old Shaq at this point. But we have Kendrick Perkins guarding Shaquille O'Neal. So the Clippers go on to win the NBA championship. We're going to see Ray Allen taking home finals MVP, averaging 30 points a game. And who did the Clippers face in the finals? The 8th seeded Milwaukee Bucks. Nice. So obviously, this team had a glaring issue last season. We didn't have a great center, like Kendrick Perkins going up against Shaq. Well, we know how that ended. So the goal for the offseason? Sign a star center. Get someone beside LeBron to win a championship. And this is who we signed. Just wait, we're almost there. Yep. Uh, 69 overall player. Yeah, that happened. So at the end of the season, we're going to see Gilbert Arenas taking home MVP. Steph Curry, he's taking home Rookie of the Year on Charlotte. TJ Ford, Sixth Man of the Year once again. Timmy D, Defensive Player. Art McKnight, Most Improved. And Micah Knorr, he's taking home Coach of the Year. So even though LeBron didn't win MVP, he still had an amazing season. All NBA first team, and the numbers fairly similar to last season, but a few less steals. The shooting numbers looking great still. And does he make any defensive teams? Take a quick look. He's making the all-defensive second. And the team, well, took a bit of a step back. 44 and 38, they dropped to the sixth seed, and they're taking on Atlanta. And Atlanta, they're comprised of Jason Terry, Jamal Crawford, Danny Granger, and two other scrubs. I mean, I hope they're not scrubs. I just assume they're auto-generated. They might not be, and I might just call a bunch of NBA players scrubs. But we're going to run with it. LeBron, this seems like a more fair matchup compared to last season because I would say all the players here match up fairly even. So the best team's going to come out on top. Hopefully it's you guys. So with time winding down in game seven, the Raptors are down by 24. LeBron, he's driving to the rack. A tough floater got blocked. Okay. Oh, they had Kevin Love on the bench. Okay, so this team actually had depth unlike us. So the Trailblazers, they're going to go on to win the NBA championship. And Gilbert Arenas, he's taken home finals MVP, averaging 32.5 and 13 a game. So last season, obviously, the team didn't have enough depth. When the Atlanta Hawks have Kevin Love coming off the bench, and we got... Who do we have coming off the bench? We had Fred Jones coming off the bench. We're in a bit of trouble. So 
We didn't bolster the bench at all, so yeah, it's going to be a tough season. So in back-to-back -back seasons, we're going to see Gilbert Arenas taking home MVP, John Wall, Rookie of the Year, Timmy D, Defensive Player, Jamie Lucas, Most Improved, and Owen Jones, Coach of the Year once again. And LeBron, of course, he's going to be making the All-NBA First Team once again with very similar numbers to past seasons. Not much of a surprise there, of course. He's going to be making the All-Defensive First Team. Alright, wasn't expecting that, but something I was expecting, this team sucking because we just don't have any good players on this team. 35 and 47, we're missing the playoffs and the Clippers. NBA champions once again and Elton Brand finals MVP. So after years of disappointment, LeBron was fed up with it and he decided he's going to go join the San Antonio Spurs and team up with Tim Duncan and Tony Parker. So we have one of the nastiest big threes in the league and I can guarantee this team is going to make it to the finals. Because if it doesn't, well, I don't know what I'll do. I probably won't do anything, but I'll be very disappointed. So at the end of the season, we're going to see Russell Westbrook taking home MVP on the Houston Rockets. That's pretty ironic. And he was also shooting 47% from three. Okay then, Reed Morgan, Rookie of the Year, TJ Ford, Six Man, Timmy D, Defensive Player, Paul George, Most Improved, and Monty Williams, he's going to take home Coach of the Year. But even though LeBron's playing with two greats at his side, he's still going to be able to make the All-NBA First Team, and he's going to put up very similar numbers of 24 points a game, 5.6 rebounds, 9 assists, 1.8 steals, and 1.5 blocks. And for just the third time in his career, we're going to see LeBron make the playoffs once again. This time, he's going to be taking on the New Orleans Pelicans, led by DeMar DeRozan, Eddie Curry, and Al Horford. But I mean, look at our team. We got Tony Parker, LeBron, Timmy D, DeMarcus Cousins. There's no way anyone's stopping us. And after an easy sweep in round number one, we're going to be taking on the Golden State Warriors, and they're led by Brandon Roy, Chauncey Billups, and Carlos Boozer. But I mean... Once again, look at our team. So Golden State, they're going to put up a fight, pushing us to 7 games, but the Spurs are still going to come out on top. Now, we're taking on Portland, and they're led by Gilbert Arenas and Zach Randolph, and we can't forget Greg Oden. He never got hurt, so he's not a bust. This is going to be another tough matchup for us, and this one could really go either way. I was just joking about the Trailblazers. They can't even match up with the Spurs, and now we're taking on the 8th seeded Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, you heard that right. We're playing an 8th seed in the NBA Finals. There is no way we screwed this up, right? So with time winding down, the San Antonio Spurs are going to be winning the NBA Championship. LeBron James, he's going to lead the way, of course. He's probably taking home Finals MVP. But who knows? we got Tim Duncan on this team, and we also have Tony Parker. we got a lot of good players, so nothing's guaranteed. But the only thing that is guaranteed is this team is going to be back next season. We're going to create a dynasty here. So here we are at the finals MVP ceremony and LeBron James, he's taken home finals MVP. Congrats my guy, you have been through way too much. Like I mean way too much. But you're finally awarded for your efforts and you deserve this more than anyone. So in the offseason, we're going to see the Spurs dynasty take a bit of a hit as we're going to end up losing Tony Parker. But I mean, DeMarcus Cousins, he's continuing to improve. But Timmy D, he's 36 years old. He doesn't have too much time left. Let's try to win one more chip. So at the end of the season, LeBron James is going to be taking home MVP, putting up 25, 5.7, and 8.5 a game. And we can't forget about the 2.4 steals and 1.8 blocks. Anthony Davis, he's taking home Rookie of the Year. TJ Ford, Six Man. Greg Oden, Defensive Player. Clay Thompson, Most Improved and Michael Ruffin, Coach of the Year. So obviously, LeBron's going to be making the All-NBA first team if he's taking home MVP, and the Spurs continuing to dominate the league. They're the first seed, and we're going to be taking on the Memphis Grizzlies in the first round, and they're going to be led by George Hill, Paul Millsap, and a bunch of auto-generated bums that we don't care about. But that was a bit too close for comfort. Memphis is pushing this to seven games, but the Spurs, they're going to come out on top. Yeah, that was way too close. And now we're taking on the Dallas Mavericks, and they're led by Dirk Nowitzki, Lamar Odom, and Kyrie Irving. That's a pretty solid trio there, but we got a great trio ourselves in LeBron, Timmy D, and Demarcus, so the best team's going to come out on top here, and I think it's going to be us. 
So Dallas, they're not putting up much of a fight. And now we're going to be taking on the Los Angeles Clippers. And they're led by Ray Allen, Elton Brand, and Chris Bosh. And they got Richard Jefferson there too. So they got some buckets on this team. But we got buckets as well. So we'll see how it goes. So in a win or go home game 7, the Spurs are going to come out on top. And now we're in the NBA Finals taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. And they're led by Vince Carter, Kevin Durant, Kawhi, and yeah this is a wrap this is an absolute wrap dually has got the ball dueling whatever he's gonna dish it to timmy d probably not the best three-point shooter on this team yeah that was probably a terrible decision so just like that we've lost the nba finals so our big three is still together but after seeing what philly looked like i don't think we have a hope at winning another championship unless that team breaks up and LeBron, one more year left here. Timmy D only has one year left. And same with DeMarcus. So this team could break up. This team could blow up. And everyone could go their own separate ways. So unless we win this season, I don't think we'll be winning anymore here. So at the end of the season, we're going to see Brandon Roy taking home MVP. Dennis Schroeder, Rookie of the Year. Anthony Davis, Sixth Man. Timmy D, Defensive Player. DeMarcus Cousins, Most Improved and Monty Williams, he's going to take home coach of the year once again. And LeBron, he's going to continue to dominate, making the All-NBA first team once again, but we are going to see his numbers drop this season. I'm not really too sure why, because he's only 30 years old, so he shouldn't be declining yet. And the Spurs, they're going to have one of their best seasons yet, going 63-19. and 19. I don't think one person saw that coming, and we're going to be taking on the Portland Trailblazers, led by Greg Oden, Zach Randolph, and Isaiah Thomas. So that's a pretty decent team, but our big three was doing damage this season, so don't count them out. So a nice easy sweep in round number one to get us warmed up. Now we're going to take on the Clippers, and of course, they're led by Ray Allen, Elton Brand, and Chris Bosh. But Ray, it looks like he's starting to decline, dropping to an 84 overall. I don't think they can keep up with this Spurs team. Well, um, wasn't really expecting that one. We're down by 11 here, and the Clippers have a 3-2 series lead. So just like that, the Spurs dynasty is over. LeBron, Timmy D, and DeMarcus Cousins are all free agents. Who knows what's going to happen to this team. So after saying the Spurs could beat them, they win the championship. And after saying Philly was probably the team to beat, they fall to the fourth seed. So in the offseason, the Spurs are keeping their young duo together in LeBron James and DeMarcus Cousins both signing five-year extensions, and this team could still do damage. LeBron, he won MVP two seasons ago, and last season, DeMarcus won most improved, so expect big things from these two guys. So at the end of the season, Chris Paul is taking home MVP, Nikola Jokic, he's taking home Rookie of the Year, and he was drafted by the Nuggets. That's pretty ironic. Blake Griffin, Sixth Man of the Year. This OKC team's got a lot of good players on it. Joe Kim Noah, Defensive Player of the Year, Anthony Davis, Most Improved, once again, OKC, and Doc Rivers, Coach of the Year. So of course, LeBron's going to continue to do his thing, and he's going to finish on the All-NBA First Team, averaging 25.4 a game, 8 rebounds, and almost 8 assists with 2.1 steals and 1.9 blocks. And this team, not too shabby, but not too good. I mean, they got the 4th seed, but they dropped all the way to 47 and 35. And we're going to be taking on that OKC team, and they're looking elite. Like Clay Thompson, Anthony Davis, Brooke Lopez, and we know they got Blake Griffin on the team as well. So this is going to be another tough matchup for us. So in a win or go home game 7, the Spurs are going to come out on top once again. And now we're going to be taking on the 8th seed of Dallas Mavericks. Honestly, I'm very surprised the Clippers didn't get past them because they won the championship last season. But this team is looking very good as well. Kyrie, Brandon Knight, Gordon Hayward, and Dirk Nowitzki. So anything could really happen here. Just kidding. They're a bunch of scrubs. The Spurs look much better than them. Now we're taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. In Memphis, they're led by Eric Bledsoe. That's right, big Eric Bledsoe is leading the team. And Jabari Parker. So here we go, game six, six seconds left on the clock, a quick inbound, LeBron driving to the hoop, a tough layup, he's going to hit the game winner here, and we're headed to game seven. So with time winding down in game seven, we're down by 47. Yeah, let's just get ready for next season. 
So Philly, they go on to win the NBA championship and Kevin Durant, he's taking home finals MVP. So here we are, headed into year 13. And honestly, I can't expect this team to do too much more because we didn't add a single player to this roster. We have LeBron, we got Demarcus, we got Andre Iguodala, and we got Nikola Mirotic. Literally, this is our team from last season, so I expect a similar result. So Russell Westbrook, he's going to take home another MVP, Carl Anthony Towns, Rookie of the Year, and he's teaming up with Russell Westbrook. Yeah, for some reason I didn't realize it, Russell Westbrook's not on the Rockets, he's on the Portland Trailblazers. Alright, Blake Griffin, Sixth Man of the Year, Greg Oden, Defensive Player, Damian Lillard, Most Improved, and Micah Norai, Coach of the Year. So LeBron's going to continue to do his thing, and he's making the All-NBA First Team once again, and alongside him is his teammate DeMarcus Cousins. And LeBron, he was doing his thing once again this season. 25 points a game, 6.6 rebounds, 7.3 assists, 2 steals, and 1.8 blocks a game. But the Spurs, they struggled this season, going 42-40, and 40, and they finished as the first seed. And now we're going to be taking on the Portland Trailblazers, led by Russell Westbrook. I thought he was on the Houston Rockets. Maybe he isn't. Alright then. So we didn't even need to simcast this. San Antonio, they're going down in four straight games. That was just dominance. And the Warriors, NBA champions. And Brandon Roy, finals MVP, putting up almost 40 points a game. So headed into year 14, once again, I don't expect anything from this team as they didn't improve at all. So at the end of the season, Chris Paul's taking home another MVP. Ben Simmons, rookie of the year on Detroit. I'm sorry to hear that. Kyrie Irving, 6th man of the year. Joe Kim Noah, defensive player. Michael Carter-Williams, most improved. And Phil Jackson, coach of the year. So LeBron's going to make the All-NBA first team, putting up the same old numbers as usual. And the team technically improved. 43-39. and 39. We won an additional game. But I expect the exact same outcome. Because we're taking on the Portland Trailblazers again. They got an amazing team. And their backup point guard is Kyrie Irving. So... Yeah, they got a bit of depth on this team, and we don't have any, so it is what it is. Since we won an additional game in the regular season, we're going to win an additional game in the playoffs. We didn't get swept, but we fell in five games. Not overly shocked by that, but I'm actually impressed we won one game. And the Pacers, NBA champions, and Chris Paul, finals MVP, putting up 38-11 and 11 a game. So big offseason moves brings in absolutely no one. I don't need to say anything else, let's just continue this. So D'Angelo Russell's taking home MVP at the end of the season, De'Aaron Fox, Rookie of the Year, Damian Lillard, Sixth Man, Roy Hibbert, Defensive Player, Malcolm Brogdon, Most Improved, and Flip Saunders, he's taking home Coach of the Year. And for the first time in I don't know how many years, LeBron's going to drop all the way to the All-NBA second team. I guess it's not all the way, because he dropped one team, and he still put up great numbers, so... LeBron, continue to do your thing at 34 years old. And somehow this team actually did better. They improved to the 4th seed and going 47-35. and 35. I don't know how they did that, considering this roster is almost the exact same. Like, literally almost the exact same. Now we got Markel Fultz though, so... Maybe he's the missing piece for this team. And we're going to be taking on the Clippers in round number 1. And they got Joe Kim Noah leading the way. And we can't forget about Drew Holiday and Rajon Rondo as well. So this is going to be a good matchup. So we're going to take down the Clippers in 5 games. And once again, we're going to be matching up against the Portland Trailblazers. And the Trailblazers, they've had our number the past few seasons. We already know what their team's comprised of. Let's see if we're able to get past them. So I don't even need to sim cast. When the Spurs are taking on the Trailblazers, we already know how that's going to go. They're taking us down in five games. And the Bucks, they go on to win the NBA championship. And Giannis, finals MVP. Even in a re-simulation, the Bucks get Giannis. So LeBron, he's headed into year 16 here at 34 years old. And the team, they improved last season. I don't know how they improved, but they made it to the second round. Maybe they'll make it to the conference finals once again, but I highly doubt it. As once again, we didn't improve this team at all. It's literally the exact same team, except a few players have improved. So, we'll see how it goes. So Russell Westbrook, he's going to go on to win another MVP. Luka Doncic, Rookie of the Year, Dennis Schroeder, Sixth Man, Roy Hibbert, Defensive Player, Lonzo Ball, Most Improved, you'll love to see it, and Scott Brooks, Coach of the Year. So for the second consecutive year, LeBron's not going to make the All-NBA First Team. 
He's also not going to make the second. LeBron dropped all the way to the third team this season. He's putting up the same numbers, but we're definitely starting to see a bit of a decline from him. And the Spurs, I don't know how they did this. Like, I assume they added someone. Nope. We didn't add anyone, really. We went 60-22. and 22. I think we're the biggest frauds in the league. Because our team didn't improve at all. But somehow, we're 60-22. and 22. First round loss, first round sweep. Basically the same thing. Now we're taking on Dallas. They got Gordon Drogic, Devin Booker, Gordon Hayward, Hassan Whiteside. A pretty solid team here. Can't forget about Jordan Bell. But once again, I believe we're frauds. So here we are, the Western Conference Finals, taking on the Portland Trailblazers. Now we don't even need to look at this team. We know who's on this team. They have dominated us the past four seasons. It's time we get some revenge. I can't handle the pain anymore. I'm so sick of this. For the fourth straight season, we have lost to the Portland Trailblazers. I am so tired of this. Russell Westbrook, oh congrats, you won an NBA championship. You have beat us four years in a row. So in the offseason, we're going to see LeBron re-sign with San Antonio Spurs on a three-year deal and joining him in San Antonio is going to be Carmelo Anthony. Now honestly, I don't know how well this duo is going to work. They're both playing small forward, so unless LeBron moves to point guard or Carmelo goes to power forward, this could be a tough situation for us. So Russell Westbrook's going to take home MVP once again, but this time he's on the Pelicans, Zion Williamson, Rookie of the Year, Julius Randle, Sixth Man, Roy Hibbert, Defensive Player, Luka Doncic, Most Improved, and Melvin Roberts, Coach of the Year. So once again, LeBron's going to finish on the All-NBA third team, and we're going to see a bit of a decline in stats. I mean, not a major decline, but he's dropping to 23.7 points a game, 6.2 rebounds, and 6.7 assists, with 2 steals and 1.8 blocks. Never mind, he basically had the same type of season. But this time, the Spurs are going to take a bit of a hit as they fall to 37 and 45 and miss the playoffs for the first time in I don't even know how long, because this team was dominating for a long period of time. And the Nuggets, NBA champions, and Jokic, Finals MVP. So after how last season ended, I think it's official. The Spurs are no longer going to be competing for championships. LeBron, at 36 years old, he's dropped to a 96 overall. Melo, he's dropped down to a 91. And we really don't have any great players replacing them. I mean, Markel Fultz, he's been doing his thing. But outside of him, the team's not looking overly great. So, yeah. We'll see what they can do this season. And we'll base the rest of this career sim off that. So Westbrook continues his dominance as he's going to take home another MVP, LaMelo Ball, Rookie of the Year, John Morant, Six Man, Rudy Gobert, Defensive Player, Jackson Hayes Most Improved, and John Smith, he's taking home Coach of the Year. And for the final time in his career, LeBron James is going to be making the All-NBA third team and he's going to be finishing with stats of 22 points a game, 6 rebounds, 5.8 assists, 1.5 steals, and 1.6 blocks. And you heard what I said right, LeBron James has decided it's time to retire. This will officially be his final season, and he's going to finish it off with not making the playoffs as the Spurs go 39-43. and 43. It's a tough scene out here. Real tough. The Mavericks, NBA champions, and Gordon Hayward, finals MVP. So this was a bit of a disappointing career sim. LeBron just didn't seem to dominate like his usual self. Never averaged over 26 points a game, only won one MVP, only one championship, and this Spurs team really let me down. When him, Timmy D, and Tony Parker were all together, I was expecting them to do big things. They brought home one championship, but I was expecting around three. So tell me what you guys think down below. Who should I do next? Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, follow Twitter, follow Instagram. You know the drill as always, and I'll see you next time.